Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we will continue with intermediate algorithm scripting today with uh, sorted union. We need to write a function that takes two or more arrays and returns a new array of unique values in the order of the original provided arrays. Okay, so in other words, all values present from all arrays should be included in their original order, but with no duplicates in the final array. And the unique numbers should be sorted by their original order, but the final array should not be sorted in numerical order. Here are some examples. So if we have two arrays, 1 is 132 and 5214, and then another 121, the final array should be 13254. Okay, so we, we should get the union of the arrays, but not sorted numerically at the end, only with the order of the arrays they belong to in the beginning. Okay, so this one should return 13254. Ah, okay, since we don't know how many arguments uh, the function will have, I think we should use the um, arguments the arguments object. Let's try that. Console.log what this what that prints. Okay. And that gives us an object uh, with all the arrays as arguments. There's a method in JavaScript array.from from which you can construct the array in this case from the arguments object and it gives us a nested array, a 2D array. Let's assign that to I'm going to call this um, all R for all arrays and I'm going to declare it. Okay, let's console log this. Okay, so but uh, to be able to process it better, we need to flatten it, to put everything into one array. So we need to concatenate all these arrays inside. I think we should use the reduce function method. So I'm going to do a reduce and I'm going to give a function inside, which takes two arguments, A and B. A and B should be um, A.concat. B should be just arrays. So it is reducing this uh, array of arrays into a single array with all the uh, sub-arrays concatenated. Let's make this more descriptive. I'm going to call this R1. So, and B is going to be R2. And we want... So we are simply concatenating. That's what reduce is doing. So now we have all the elements which we give as arguments into one single array. Um, let's declare a final array, the one we want to return in the end, the unique array, the unique values, or maybe let's call it union array. Let's declare it as empty. And now the easiest thing we can do is just iterate through all array and check if the element already exists in union array. If not, we just push it. That's pretty straightforward. That's, I'm going to remove this. So I'm going to make a for loop or let's just use for each. I'm going to iterate through all array for each. And inside I'm going to put um, a function function which just takes an element and what this does is if it just checks if element is already in union array so if union array contains element or we want to check if it doesn't contain it that's the thing we are mostly interested in so if it doesn't contain it we just push it into union array an array dot push element and let's put okay so we are iterating through all the elements inside all array if the element doesn't exist in the union array we just push it so we make sure to have no duplicates and in the end we just return the union array I think this one should do it let's 
Hmm. I not contains includes. Sorry, I confuse the syntax of JavaScript sometimes. Let's see. Let's do a console log here. Yeah, I think this one works. Yep, yeah, this works. Let's let's run the test. Perfect. Okay, guys. Um, that's it for this video. In the next one, we will continue with the next exercise. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.